welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Justifiable. So let's go to Calm like we were going to. Oh, huh, it's a nice little city. I like the city music in this game. It's really pleasant. Goodness, there's a lot of saliva in my mouth. It's making it difficult for me to articulate. Articulate. Yeah, I guess we could hurry to the end. So yeah, let's just do that. Let's go on into the end. We'll get a load of this place in a few videos or so. <laughs> Let's see. Innkeeper! Your best pint. Hold on a sec. You don't have an elevator, an escalator, nothing? I've walked all the way here from Midgar. I'm late. I don't give a shit. I'm the leader. You're early. That's the way I see it. Everyone is here now. Alright, so ladies and gents, this is about to be a lot of exposition, but it's kind of, it's a, it's, it's a good plot device, because it, it lets out enough detail that you can make theories and things like that, but you probably won't be able to figure out what's going on. And it's just good entertainment, you know? I am a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, it's war buddies. This lack of music is disturbing me. Like something bad's about to happen. I need footsteps or something too. <laughs> to put down any resistance. Dang, he's only 21. Impressive. Oh jeez. Hey, how you doing? Eh, yeah, fuck off, you fucking jabroni. <laughs> oh, I'm alright. <laughs> Who has motion sickness? I've never met anybody. I can understand, like, boat motion sickness, but just riding in a car? I'd have to see it. You're not gonna understand if you're already sick. Hey. He's like, hey! Settle down! He's like, oh yeah, got some new materia. Just like a kid. Jeez. <laughs> yes, brief us. This isn't a typical mission. Gouda. Why do you say that? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Mister Cephalos. I thought you wanted a briefing. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't talk like that. It just doesn't work. So, basically, we're going to go check out this Mako reactor. Because for some reason, there's been monsters coming out of it that are extremely brutal. So, we're going to go fuck them up, I guess. Or see why. Nibelheim. That's where I'm from. Oh, hey. <laughs> Herma. What the fuck was that? That would be our resistance, or our monster. So here we get to see Sephiroth in action. Man, I'm gonna get destroyed. Guess I'll attack. I'm done attacking. Ugh. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do when he bites at you, Sephiroth, Sephiroth? Oh, wait a not. <laughs> Sephiroth actually has a, a status effect you can get at this point called Peerless, I believe is what it's called. He didn't revive me, I'm kind of upset about that, but whatever, you know, I'm sure he did afterwards. I hope he did afterwards. I hear my cat meowing from the other side of the door and it's pissing me off. Because all she's going to do is bother me. And there's nothing I can do for her. I can't entertain her. She doesn't want to be entertained. How does it feel? <clears throat> I don't know. I've only felt nostalgic once in my entire life. Only once. And it was uh, a couple years ago. 
was playing, uh, someone put the David the Gnome, uh, theme song on my Facebook page, and I listened to it. It was the first time I ever felt nostalgic. Because <laughs> that was a show when I was, like, five. I was a little kid. Little kid! What the fuck you just said, little kid? Oh, do I control him now? Yes, I do. Huh. You want to do what we always do? You know, just sit tight. He ain't gonna talk to you. No, I won't. So, uh, those are three dot things. Are those like a f cover in their eyes or something? <laughs> the Mako smells bad. Let's go in, I guess. Yo, wait a minute. What, Barrett? Sephiroth's mother. You just figured that out? You just figured that out. Jeez, oh, Pete's Barrett. He is not quick on the uptake. Continue to joke. The town is quiet. A little too quiet. <laughs> what up, Seth? Why at dawn? Why not, like, I don't know, a couple hours after dawn? Hurry up. I don't know what it is, but his shirt makes it look like he has, like, huge cleavage or something. It's kind of odd. Oh. Anybody visit your family or friends? Bye. <laughs> Who's this individual? I had Sephiroth was coming, so I brought my camera. I want a shot of Sephiroth and a monster. You better get back in your house. Here's a brutal fathead. Are you Cloud? Oh, he recognizes me. Yes, I am Cloudo. How come you're nervous? Yeah, I guess so. It always comes in. It's like... I, don't, I can't remember the music all of a sudden. Let's see. Is there anybody here? Let's go upstairs. Let's go through their personal belongings. I don't look like there's anything up here. Is this a painting or something? I'm not... I don't know what that is. Desk. <laughs> is that what that is? Ah, oh, here's somebody. Oh, yeah, we're Shinra. Welcome. Oh, someone else recognized. What the hell is that thing? And that thing. Shinra! Shinra! Soldier! Salsa! <laughs> Are you going to kill the monsters? Are you going to? <laughs> Sorry, I'm an, I'm an idiot. Alright, did you say anything? Uh, nice little pirouette there. Like Ted Nugent in that one music video. Alright, let's check out this house next. Let's see. No, not going in there. Oh, I believe it does though. Yo, wait, I want to hit. Huh. All right, I guess I will. But I must. No, no character can have both his parents. That's just fucking ridiculous. She's vibrant, huh? Damn, way to just, you know, depress us completely, Cloud. I appreciate that. And as I like to say, sup, ho? Don't even recognize your own kid. Reminds me of that movie, uh, Empire of the Sun. When Christian Bale says he can't remember what his parents look like. Oh, God. It was a sad movie at that part. It's a good flick, though. One of the most underrated films of the early 80s. It was a Steven Spielberg film. Probably one of his best. Should have got an Oscar for that as well as, you know, uh, Schindler's List. That it is.
<laughs> kind of way is that to lay on a bed? Like, that bed is just obscenely huge for him. We could lay, like, four of him, cross it, <laughs> you know, the wrong way. Well, I guess not the wrong way, but the unconventional way. There's temptations everywhere, honey. I said that before. Do 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 Older girlfriend. Goodness, she's all nag nag nag. Shut the hell up. I know you can't cook. You're a dumbass. Here she goes. I'll always be your mom. <laughs> Cloud is embarrassed. Alright. So, uh, we're gonna explore some more houses and stuff and see what's going on at the reactor next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Justifiable. Get away from me. So, uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, peace.